Okay, that's enough of that. Oh. Hi everyone. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about this. The Halloween Complete Collector's Edition from Screen Factory. This. So, let's do this. Hang on one second. <clears throat> this bloody dry throat. Found a lemon. <clears throat> so, uh, Halloween box set. It was released six years ago, maybe. Um, <clears throat> quite rare now. But first off, I'll show you the nice box out there it's the side front back whatever you want to call it the side again lovely artwork and the front now I know what you think the state of the box um, that's nothing to do with me by the way I bought this second hand probably about the time of Halloween 2018 being released. <clears throat> Always wanted it. UK once again didn't have a Halloween box set. It was rare right out of print. I think it goes for like three to four hundred pound on the marketplace on eBay. But I knew I just had to have it. I seen a guy on there selling it for excuse me. For two hundred I think it was about two hundred pounds. Oh, it's sl that was a bit damaged here and there, <clears throat> but I just, excuse me, I just knew I had to get this for the collection. So when I snagged it, I was absolutely over the moon. Um, so yeah, so yeah, uh, this came out, like you say, four, it's probably more than five years ago, you know. Um, let's see if I can see. 2009. Uh, no, that's the last release of um, Halloween 2, Rob Zombies. Anyways, <clears throat> so I'll do, I'll go through it again, show you the collection. Obviously this does include the Halloween from 2018 and Halloween Kills, though I do have them. So yes, here we go. We'll start off first with <clears throat> the absolute classic. Halloween, there's the front there, shut up, there's the back, love the black slipcases, I would have loved to have had orange slipcases, but they're apparently a nightmare to track down, um, does this come with a lot of artwork, no it doesn't, so you don't get any artwork, um, this is two discs, a lot of special features, um, like you say, absolute classic. Simplistic artwork. Great. <clears throat> um, we have part two. By the way, um, I love Halloween one, but it's also a bit of a sin, but I do like Halloween two more. Yeah, like I, th I think it builds a bit more on the actual story. I know that's sort of a <clears throat> cardinal sin, but once again, this is two discs. There you go. Uh, this is also a cardinal sin. I hate Halloween Part 3. Um, people absolutely love it. It's everyone's opinion, choices. But not for me. It's one disc. It's got nothing to do with Michael Myers. Obviously, that's the point. So that's why the name drew. Halloween 4 was turned to Michael Myers because people wanted Michael Myers. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> yes, there's the front. And there's the back. Part 4 is one of my absolute favourites. Um, it did come with two discs when I opened it. I'm assuming there was a problem 
with the original release. I think it was some audio issues. That's why he's got the re-release uh, disc here. So, yes. Part 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers. That's the back. Oh, get the light there. Good old Donald Pleasant. Now, Halloween 6, which is probably one of the weakest in the franchise. The Curse of Michael Myers. Which delves into the whole um, cult, the Thorn cult. Now, I didn't mind the... Is it on here? Yeah, it is in here. It's a producer's cut. Yes. I thought the producer's cut was um, a vast improvement over the theatrical cut. But it's still... A lot of people don't like it with the whole runes and defeating Michael and having sex with his niece and yeah, it's a bit weird. So we then go to Halloween H2, the return of Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. Now it's just one disc. A lot of people like this. Um, I like it, but. I think Michael Myers' eyebrows kind of off-putting in the whole thing. Just is what it is. And then... Halloween Resurrection, which is absolutely ridiculous. Buster Rhymes. I mean, look at, Mike, look at Michael's eyebrows on there. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, Jimmy Curtis is in this for like, what, five minutes? Uh, dies at the start and... Yeah, um, it has about five different endings. Um, Michael dies, Michael lives, Michael lives, Michael dies. So, <clears throat> like, bearing in mind, till Resurrection in 3, I enjoy all of their movies. Uh, it's probably my favourite franchise. Or our franchise. Um, so then we've got Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yay. Front, back. Now, when this came out, I was probably about 18, 19. I thought it was enjoyable. <clears throat> As I got older, I realised I'm just talking shit. And then this absolutely piece of shit, <laughs> which I just do not like. Halloween 2. Oh god. Why is Rom Zombie got to put his misses and everything? Like the whole horse scenario and the ponies and the kid that plays the young Michael. Like, why did why did they like give him a backstory that he killed animals and stuff like that? He didn't need a backstory. He was just he killed a, a kid that killed his sister, and that was the whole point. He didn't even know his life story. He's just pure evil. But the hat they gave him a background is just no. And Tyler Mayne, they made him like eight foot. Don't need to make Michael Myers eight foot. He's presence enough. It also comes with a little booklet, which is once again like the Friday the Thirteenth one. Just oh, there's Mr. Carpenter there. Just go through like the franchise itself. Um, but yes, uh, it's still like I say, a favorite horror franchise, and the new movies are a credit to the older movies. Halloween Kills. Does go a bit um, offside, um, sort of middle of the movie. I would have changed a couple of things about that, but it is what it is. Hope Halloween ends is pretty good. Looking forward to that later on this year. But yes, uh, Halloween wise, I absolutely love it. Um, I mean, it took us ages to absolutely to get this mask. I had it on pre order for about four or five months, and then it's super rare because it's. The original, um, I have it probably on display in the living room, so <laughs> you can see how much of a Halloween fan I am. Isn't that right, Michael? So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Shit. <laughs>